Um, just to give you a little overview of our office, we're actually tasked with all the emergency planning and preparedness for the city of Philadelphia. We're a very tiny office compared to our colleagues at fire and police. We're an office of 27, but we're tiny and mighty because we're, we're able to bring um, our partners together, public safety around planning, preparedness, training, exercises and drills. We actually coincidentally on um, Monday had a large mass casualty workshop where we were talking about FIRE's new um, mass casualty procedure, our, revisit, our, our revision of the citywide mass casualty plan um, to the point where we first, when we first heard about this incident, I actually thought it was an extension of the exercise for a first second. I was sort of in denial that this was actually happening. Um, because we do do all of that planning and training and exercising and drills, we, we were ready. All of us in public safety were ready to go. Um, our office, we have on-call teams, so on-call responders, but um, even people that weren't on-call, the entire office was able to get to the city's EOC, which is the Emergency Operations Center, in under an hour, and then we were assigned tasks. We were spread out across the city. We had a team at the incident command post. We brought out our mobile command post. We had a team at um, Webster, Webster Elementary, and then also at the Family Assistance Center. We had a team in the Emergency Operations Center. We also had a team at our warehouse that was deploying resources such as the light towers that was mentioned earlier. When we're on scene, we're really there to um, fill the gaps and just take anything off of um, police and fire's hands so they don't have to deal with it. So they can really focus on what their job is. And so if they need light, we'll get them light. If they need other agencies there, we will get them there. If they need wires turned off, we will turn them off. Um, well, not us, we will get the agencies there to turn them off. 